guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world one trailer at a time. Got a beauty for you. It's a 2021 Springdale 296BH. I'm telling you guys, some of you are sleeping on these Springdales. They are great value, beautiful trailers, good quality. Uh, this one has double over double bunk in the back and behind a door. Usually you got like a quad bunk action back there. Now we got two double over double bunks. Pretty slick. Let's get after it. Right here at the front. Guys, have the front power jack, 20 pounder paint tanks. They'll come full from Lazy Acres, of course. Black ABS cover, battery in a box right in behind there. We've got four stabilizer jacks that are also electric on this model. Big passer storage. It's lit up there on the other side. Uh, the Springdales are wood frame, aluminum skin, freshwater fill, city water connection. Our main slide here is a rack and painted slide. The most reliable slide in the industry. It's also the heaviest. Uh, this thing comes in around 6,800 pounds, if I didn't say that already. Our sewer is down here, gray and black water drainage, 30 amp pullout style cord. Right at the back here, we've got uh, a pass through storage right through there to the other side, underneath our double over double bunk. We're gonna get to that on the inside. And then we've got this little bit of a shed here at the back. Basically to open this door up, you fold the spare tire down, which is what I've done. And then you unlock these. It's a little bit tight here, guys, so sorry about that. Um, but you got that kind of shed, it's about a foot or so deep, but nice and wide, nice and tall, good kind of flexible storage there at the back. Let's head to the front again, hit the other side. It's a lot to ask my cameraman to hop over that tongue there, so right on. I mentioned power jacks, I mentioned power front jack, just the other side there of a pass-through storage. Solid step, right to the ground, nice and secure. This folds right inside the trailer, but it's a very, very nice secure step. Lend a hand grab handle, LED lights in the electric awning, outside speakers, range hood, six gallon gas water heater, and then we got 15 inch tires here. They're not aluminum rims or black steel rims, they're radios though, uh, six bolt hubs, good looking tires there. The underbelly is enclosed and heated off the furnace. Outside shower, black water flush kit, outside TV hookup, that's what this guy is for. And then just the other side there of our rear pass through, which is pretty awesome. Let's, uh, let's have a look inside. Right on guys, we are inside that Springdale 296BH. I ran inside as fast as I could, super excited about this one. We got an RV Queen 60 by 74. Bedside tables, receptacles on either side, hanging on either side as well, and an open shelf there above. I love this uh, you know, accent wall, I got a, kind of a plain wall over here, then a nice accent wall that's wood grain. We do have a secondary TV location up in here. And then our bedroom is separate off from our living space with a full pocket door. And then uh, my cameraman likes this. We got ourselves a laundry chute. Look at that. It was a big hand that we got. Right on. That's what happens you're seven feet tall. Awesome. Coming out here into the living space. We got ourselves a jackknife style sofa. That just means it goes flat for a one sleeper kind of thing. And then we do have swords underneath there, which you see. And then cup holders that fold over. Pretty nice there. Window right there. Full dinette with a window behind there. USB in between the two, and then lights. I wonder where that turns on. Underneath the dinette, nice and slick. This does turn into a bed if you need it to. Uh, then spinning back here into the kitchen, got ourselves a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge, uh, which is pretty slick. Gives you a little more space in through here, and 12 volts, so nice and easy to go uh, down the road with. Um, obviously the negative on this is if you're not plugged in the hydro, charging your battery, you're gonna go through your batteries a little bit quicker, but there's options for that, solar, generators, those kind of things. Um, but overall, a nice flexible option for a 12 volt fridge. Blue lights there, 22 inch oven, glass stove top cover, range hood vent, microwave, overhead storage here above. Okay, good space there for plates and cups. Good amount of counter space, St single farmhouse style sink right through there. Storage here for a garbage can. Drawer around this side here. Okay, open cubby here, and then a couple bigger drawers, or sorry, one bigger drawer down here. Okay, and then another spot there for, for shoes or whatever. And then we actually have a spot we can sit down, put on our shoes, maybe store some shoes there, hang up our coats. Good overhead storage too. Okay, spot for a TV, our hookups are over through there. And some more storage down here. Built-in DVD player, guys. Radio, of course. Let's head towards the back. Okay. Give me the old squat check. Good space through here. A little tight on my left shoulder, but I feel all right. Counter space. 
storage here down below. Medicine cabinet here above. Shower. My head is not in the sky too bad. We got a natural arch to this roof, guys. I could grow another three or four inches, still be okay in here. Lots of shoulder space, good stuff there. And of course we have the bunks. Let's look at those. This is where this uh, is a little different, right? Usually it's four bunks back here, like two on either side. I like the fact that there are doubles here at the back. Uh, you know, larger kids, adults can sleep up here. Same thing down through here. We've got windows in either bunk. A little bit of a wardrobe here if you come in the corner. Good work, cameraman. Stores down there. And then little cubbies here. Ready to each bunk. Okay. Don't know if the kids are going to hide in there. Awesome, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Push the like button. Please subscribe. You can email us here at sales at lazyacres.com or you can call us at 705-833-2539. Have a good day. We're back, guys, in that 2820 BH. Uh, trying to figure out a little more about this furniture here because I don't see how this turns into a bed. May have to get back to you on that. I don't think it does. I'm going to say that for now. I don't think that the dinette here turns into a bed. Of course, the couch is that trifold sofa we talked about. That will turn into a bed. But this doesn't seem like it does. It's got this... Um, we got the table out of the way now. It's got this neat little... Uh, uh, you know storage kind of piece here so you have all this storage underneath so that's nice and handy um but i just don't see how this whole thing comes together for a bed right now so just a heads up on that a pretty slick little storage item in through there awesome guys hope you enjoyed it like video subscribe email us at sales at lazyacres.com or call us at 705-833-2539 thanks have a good day